So guys, it's Brian from Graham's Farms, and uh, we got some stuff in the mail today from UPS. It was here when I come in from work, and we've been kind of excited about it, so I wanted to unbox it and show, share with y'all what we got. Hopefully in a week or two, we can, uh, or not a week or two, maybe here in a day or two, I can make a video, we'll be setting this up. But uh, without giving it away, I'm going to open these boxes now and show y'all what we got. And I promise I didn't open these up beforehand. This is the way it showed up from UPS. When I went to pick this box up, I guess the tape had already ripped and it ripped open. But all I've done is set them up here on the porch. Their daily mow, goat and sheep electro nanning. Uh, it's white and black. I wanted the white and black so that maybe it would show up a little better. Kind of help keep kids out of it and stuff. Because we do have two little girls that goes with me to do the goats and sheep. Uh, this is a 10, 42, 12. And what that means, I believe that's 10 hot wires. Uh, it's 42 inches tall, and the vertical stays are 12 inches apart. And like I say, this is a little lighter duty wire than some of their heavier stuff, but I do plan on moving this a lot. And it already weighs like 18 pounds a roll, per roll for this heavier stuff. It's 164 feet in a roll. And really and truly, if you've got a big area of the fence but you're just starting out in goats and you think well i'm only going to have eight or ten or whatever or like in our case we're just needing to win kids and we don't quite have all those small pens set up that we need to have set up yet this is great you can move it around move them around a the fresh pasture helps cut down with parasites and stuff i've never personally used it i know i've seen several of the other YouTube creators that do use it, have used it. My dad uses it. They've got a couple rolls and they keep their bucks and their does separated in two separate pens and actually just use one charger. Uh, this is the corner poles. So these are anywhere where you make a bend and the fence tries to pull over, you kind of put one of these in to stretch that with. And like I say, I hope we're putting this up within a day or two and I can uh, kind of show you the installation part of it. So I did get two rolls and 164 feet, that's gonna still make a pretty good size pen. Two rolls, it's like 82 foot down each side. And that's a pretty good size area, but what we're gonna do is put our bucks in this and also probably use it to wean some bucklings that we're going to raise out so uh, at the end of the day we're still going to be moving this not daily but probably weekly to every 10 days or so and so this box i'm going to assume is the charger Let's see if we can slide this stuff back out of the way a little bit So, okay, this is the lead connectors. Well, these will be used to connect the charger to the fence. And again, like I say, we'll get all this stuff out and, and show you guys in a couple of days. But it kind of looks like the clamps that you use when you're hooking up a, a battery charger to your car. So I think that's going to be fairly self-explanatory. But we'll go through it when we hook this stuff up boy premier one done an excellent job at packing this stuff 
I'm going to tell you, our UPS drivers has got to be like, they think they're NASCAR drivers or off-road Baja drivers because this stuff, as you can see when these boxes come in, tore up all the time here where we're at. So we did buy the Energizer kit and it comes with a grounding rod. My dad actually made his grounding rod out of rebar and he welded the mount for his solar charger to the top of this. And that way, when he drove this in the ground, his charger would just sit right on top of the of the uh, grounding rod. So far it works really well. He's used it all winter. Uh, as with any electric fence charger, in the summertime, as that soil really starts to dry out, you start having more problems. So we'll see how it works in the summertime. Now if I can get this out of the box. So this is where y'all guys can see it. The IntelliShock 120. And they say this will run, I wanna say up to 10 rolls of this electro netting, eight rolls, something like that. It's fairly heavy duty charger. I'm gonna try to get this set up today where it'll be charging. And so these are really, really well built, looks like. They've got uh, really nice terminal connectors on them. They've got good plastic covering on them to keep them from possibly grounding out something they're not supposed to, or keep them from bumping around, bumping into the wrong things inside these chargers. I'm gonna put these two covers right back in this little case just in case I need to take these batteries out for something. Maybe I'll use them to cover them up. I don't think that I'll have to do that. Just, just in case we were to have to do that. And so That's it, all of that. And since I'm not gonna be using this today, I mean, there's just no way. I still gotta feed my goats and do all my other chores. And I was kinda hoping to get to plant a few garden plants that we've got that's ready to go out. Uh, so I'm gonna take this around to our front yard where the sun shines most all day and just set it out in the yard, try to face it as directly south as I can, just so that the solar panel will start charging those batteries. And then that way, if it's a day or two days before we uh, get ready to use this thing, those batteries will be fully charged when it starts out. So as you, as you can see, we've got quite a bit of stuff going on with the new fence and it's garden time, it's springtime, everything's greening up, it's getting warm, we're, we're probably not, maybe a week, 10 days away from our last frost date, so it's almost time to start getting those plants in the ground, that, tomatoes and peppers and squash and such, so we should have a lot of videos coming up. 